Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you a very special documentary that I just finished watching called Dream Big by Mark Martinez. Now one of the best things about starting the channel is the conversations with others who love the golden era content and hearing their stories about how it motivated them some way in life or to train. Now equally surprising is the number of guys and girls in the younger generation who've never even seen Pumping Iron and practically have no knowledge of the names and faces of the golden era history. I appreciate that while different athletes will always appeal to different generations, I think it's equally important to know the history of the sport, at the very least to enrich our own understanding of the people and the events that came before us, the impact they had and the enduring stories from those with similar aspirations and dreams. Mark's new film is a self-described love letter to the Southern California beach and fitness culture of the 1970s, and particularly to the small seaside gym that became the mecca for the explosion of fitness in America and in worldwide culture. If you're like me and you delight in discovering never-before-seen photos or videos of the Golden Era guys, then this film is an absolute treasure trove of amazing, uncovered gems of high-quality archival footage. Many of the film's pics and videos of Arnold and the guys I certainly had never seen before. One of the standout aspects of Dream Big is the focus on the perspective of many of the characters who didn't really dominate the spotlight at the time. Guys who were more peripheral to the scene but had equally great stories to share. Included are some great takes from Charles Gaines, Franco Colombo, Bill Grant, Ken Sprague, Pete Grimkowski, and Ken Waller, just to name a few. Hearing these guys recount their experiences is like experiencing the missing pieces of a jigsaw, forming to create a more complete picture in your mind's eye. Mark clearly explores the interwoven connections between the historical context of the era and bodybuilding's place within it. He covers the history of Muscle Beach, Vince's gym, the formative story of Golds and the little known backstory to the seemingly impossible Mr. America parade. Now some may find history boring or irrelevant, but to me when great history resonates is always due to the quality of the collective stories shared. And I am pleased to say that Mark has left absolutely no stone unturned in uncovering and sharing some of the best stories and events of that era's biggest names. Again, watching this, I learned a lot about the new stories and the small facts about that era that I'd never heard before. So this isn't a film that's been lazy in its research, or just a case of someone simply cashing in on the revived resurgence of the golden era, beating a dead horse with tired, rehashed content. More poignantly, the documentary now stands as an important historical document. A landmark that includes some of the last interviews with icons from that era, including Franco, Rick Jason and Doug Brignoli. And although it might sound outrageous, I actually prefer the bigger name stars like Arnold were absent from the film for once. I feel that in recent years, Arnold in particular has become a bit of a rehearsed soundbite. He's a walking cliche who self-censors a curator's script that no longer speaks authentically from the heart like he once did. On the other hand, the guys in these interviews are finally given their time and chance to speak for once candidly and unfiltered. I can only imagine the monumental task and Herculean effort it would have taken to assemble all the moving pieces in creating and financing this film. And it's a total credit to Mark, reflective of a true labour of love, by someone who was actually there and witnessed the Iron Game for as long as he has. Personally, it was also an inspiration for me to aim at creating better content, along with more compelling narratives that honour the time period and hopefully pass these stories forward to future generations. I still remember back when Generation Iron first announced its release a decade ago, proclaiming itself as the follow-up to Pumping Iron. Sitting in the theatre, eagerly watching that movie unfold, like so many others, we felt let down and disappointed by what we saw as a diminished representation of our sport by boring storylines and less than relatable characters. Unlike some other films in bodybuilding, Dream Big doesn't try to be the follow-up to Pumping Iron. But instead it stands on its own as a compelling and informative documentary which is an infinitely more rewatchable than many other bodybuilding movies. So if you want to sharpen your iron knowledge or reflect on 100 minutes of pure golden era nostalgia, then Dream Big is a must watch for gym buffs and iron historians of any age. 
I wholeheartedly appreciate and applaud Mark for his amazing efforts here. So I encourage everyone to chip in to what amounts to less than a cup of coffee to thank and reward Mark for this timeless contribution to our Iron Game history. Thanks again for watching.